we all know that there are number of public services which are rendered by the local governments all over the world and particularly in the federations these services are primary education public health solid waste management parks street lights issuance of death certificate issuance of birth certificate number of other services so the local government they can provide local solutions to the local problems there is one principle what we call the principle of subsidiarity is a german principle it says whatever can be done at the local level should be done at that level only it should not be passed on to the upper level of government hence uh, all these services uh, what we just said have been assigned in most federations to the local governments how they have been created they are created through a national constitutions in uh, in india or in brazil or in pakistan they have also been created through a state constitutions wherever you have two constitutions for example in australia and in us so they have been created through state institutions state legislatures national legislatures and just an executive order that's there in china but uh, ironically the local government created through a national constitutions are not so strong whereas the local government created through an executive order is very very strong in place like china so how do they finance uh, their services this is something we'll be talking about in this uh, video uh, in india the local government finances it depends upon first is uh, the own source revenue second is borrowing third is the vertical programs of the union and state governments the fourth is the grants and devolutions from the uh, union finance commissions and the last is the grants and devolutions from the state finance commissions own source revenue is extremely important for the local governments local governments means in india panchayati raj institutions and the municipalities panchayats and municipalities they have been created through the 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment in 1993 and uh, through which these panchayat and municipalities they got into the books of statutes so what are those own source revenues the the most important own source revenue is the property tax there are other sources of revenues for example entertainment tax advertisement tax and even vacant land tax which not uh, many municipalities or panchayat they have been uh, imposing this tax so uh, panchayat generally collects about 5% of the total resource requirement from their own source revenues municipalities collect a little more municipal corporations particularly big municipal corporations uh, for example in bombay or pimpri chinchwad and pune they collect more than 50% of their own resource requirements uh, through this tax then uh, we have this municipalities and nagar panchayat they collect hardly the same what the amount panchayat collects the second could be the borrowing most people say that panchayats and municipalities they are not allowed to borrow but there is an act the act called the borrowing act of 1914 of the british era it allows the local authorities to borrow from the market and many municipal corporations for example the ahmedabad municipal corporation bangalore municipal corporation they have gone to the market and they uh, issued some bonds the third source of revenues or uh, the funding for this local government is the vertical programs vertical programs uh, means from the union government as well as the state governments there are number of programs in which the uh, the the role of panchayat and municipalities have been identified in the rural areas the most important program is manrega sarv shiksha abhiyan uh, avas yojana 
Similarly, for these municipalities, we do have programs like Amrut and we do have programs like Smart Cities. So, through this vertical program, the role of these uh, panchayat and municipalities have been identified and they get some money out of this. They also have some say in this. The next source of revenue, which is very, very important, is uh, from the Union Finance Commissions. Through this 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment, the change in Article 280 was there. So, one subclause has been inserted in Article 280. This uh, subclause says that the Union Finance Commission has to augment the resources of state finances on account of the recommendation of state finance commissions for both panchayat and municipalities. So, since 10 finance commissions onwards, they have been making some recommendations for panchayat and municipalities. The 14 finance commissions, the last finance commission, they made uh, the recommendations that about 2 lakhs crores of rupees could be transferred to panchayat over a period of 5 years. Similarly, municipalities will also be getting 85,000 crores over a period of 5 years. The 15 finance commission in its interim recommendations have almost kept this kind of figure uh, for, for a year and the next report of the 15 finance commissions are uh, is just awaited. The 13 finance commissions, they, they, they deviated and made a very path breaking recommendation. They said 2.5 percent of the union divisible pool could be earmarked for panchayat and municipalities. 14 finance commissions again made the recommendation for a lump sum grants. This grant, it has two components. One is the basic grant, which means they will be getting this kind of money. And second is the, the conditional grants through which if you collect your property tax, if you keep your house in order, then you will be eligible to get that kind of grants. The last source of funding for panchayat and municipality is the state finance commissions. The state finance commission has been created through the 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment. In part 9 and 9a of the constitution, there is a clause called 243i and 243y. It says that every fifth year, there has to be a finance commission in each state. This commission make recommendations at how much of the state taxes and state revenues could be transferred to panchayat and municipalities. They also make recommendations about the grants and there are some other recommendations which are very administrative in nature. So, the state finance commissions in many of the states are making good recommendations, but there are some other states, the finance commissions are not making that kind of recommendations, so they have not been respected. So, this is uh, institution, it, has, it is just evolving. 